Is this Logitech's cheapest webcam? That's a question I answered myself because I had to get a camera in order to write an exam. So therefore I needed it fast because I couldn't wait for a delivery anymore because it was the weekend and I needed it on Monday. So now I bought this one. This is the Logitech C270 HD. It's not full HD, it's only 720 HD and it also comes in 30 frames per second. It was 35 euros at a local hardware supply store or electrics store you could also say. Widescreen HD 720p video calls. That's cool. Auto light correction. We also have... Yeah, that's pretty much... Oh, there is a mono noise reducing mic in there. I don't expect much of this camera. Basically, the only purpose it had was to be the observer that observed me writing the exam. So now here is how it looks. I actually wanted to get a different one that was for... that sold for 50 euros, but um, it wasn't available at the store. There is also one from Logitech that actually is rotatable, so this means you can record for live streams, for example, in portrait mode, but also switch it over to landscape mode. This was about 90 euros. There is also a super professional camera that sells for around 150 euros, but I got this one because I actually don't really need a webcam, because in the back there I have a Canon EOS M50, and with an adapter, you can actually, so th the basic problem of using a normal camera is that they have batteries. And now if you write an exam, let's say for two hours, and you have a battery in there, and the camera actually interrupts because the battery is empty, then you have a problem. So therefore there is a solution which is called a network adapter. So basically you, you replace the thing here, this battery pack, with an adapter that actually connects to a plug or socket. So now, since I didn't actually need really a camera and I also didn't really plan to record on a camera like this because it's probably way worse than a phone and probably also way worse than my Canon EOS M50, I just said I would buy the cheapest one and I also needed one fast. So therefore I opted for this camera. This was not a huge research process. I just said, if I already have a keyboard made by Logitech. I also have a mouse made by Logitech. My screen is made by, my monitor is made by LG and my notebook by HP, but I just said I would go with Logitech because they're kind of well known in the space. So therefore, let's see what is in the package. So first we have the camera itself and it comes with a cable. I don't know what the exact cable length is. I saw some cameras that actually had up to two meters of cables. Um, which is, I think, pretty important when it comes to webcams, because especially in my case, when I have to put it somewhere behind me in order to act this, or in order for this to be as the observer. Now, there is this problem that, now this is not really a good purchase anymore after I have written this one exam, because afterwards I could potentially order a, another camera online and maybe potentially get a better one. So therefore I thought maybe I should sell this again or bring it back, but the problem is that I actually uh, traveled overnight and I had it in my backpack and now it's kind of damaged. So therefore I don't really think it will make too much sense to bring it back. And I also still need to test whether this actually kind of works for me and maybe I will still sell it off then on eBay, I don't know. Maybe I got a more expensive one, but I don't really plan to do video calls on this. I do have... So, reg in, regarding my setup now, I do have the following. Here is my main screen, and here currently is my notebook, and down here is my Logitech MX keys. So now the question is, where do I put the webcam? Because currently the webcam on my notebook is here, but that's not a very good angle. I actually would prefer a webcam that is up here and that probably also would give me a much better angle. So therefore the idea is to have a webcam up here, which is anyway a good idea. So therefore let's just try this one I actually got already. And maybe I still can upgrade in the future. I can actually leave this on because this is not really something that uh, disturbs my testing, but I will need to take this off. And now we have this mount here. There were also cameras that had an actual screw mount, so this meant you could actually mount it to a tripod, which in my case would be really nice. In this case though, it basically only attaches to 
the back of your monitor or the top of your monitor and there is no mechanism apart from this mechanism that just goes like this i guess not quite sturdy so now let's first of all check whether i can actually place it on top of my notebook if i want to and well i don't really think so i mean how is this supposed to go oh you can also angle it and this is basically how well it goes um that's quite not not good i would say and now let's test it on top of my monitor. So we put this on here. And I still am struggling to figure out how to actually put this on. Is this how it is supposed to go? Am I just too dumb for this? Well, I now placed it on top like this. And it really just doesn't have any more oomph to it apart from this just going on there. I mean, it's kind of sad, but this is probably how most webcams are installed. So now, this is not the webcam itself, it's the webcam that is built into my HP Spectrum. And as you can see, I mean, it doesn't look that bad on video now, but it looks really bad when looking at it. Also, there is the issue with the average brightness, which is the issue many cameras these days have, because the exposure is usually kind of a function of the brightness of the overall picture. So therefore, if you wear something that is pretty black, then your face will be overexposed because the average brightness is increased as a result of this much black in the picture. So now I am still in Windows camera and what I actually will try to do now is switch to the other camera, which is EOS webcam utility, partially at least. I don't know if I have to install some software for Logitech to work. I just figured it would be plug and play. So ES webcam utility is actually kind of recognized as the rear camera right now. And now I also can show you the setup. So basically my Canon EOS M50 is on a tripod and I don't use it that much since I record everything on my phone in order to keep the same quality in all of the videos, which doesn't necessarily mean it's the best quality, but it's a continuous and consistent quality. And then you have a micro USB cable and this is something you then can connect to either your PC directly or to your USB hub, which is down there. So therefore, I already made this work. The problem was there was, only, there was also a partial dysfunction. Basically, every second time, it didn't really recognize it in Zoom, for example. So I just checked on Amazon, not on Amazon, but on Logitech, whether there are downloads for this webcam. It seems to be not the case. So now it works and I do not want to say it's instant regret, but it actually kind of partially is because the video quality is just really, really bad. So I'm already thinking, what if I just, I mean, it just kind of blurs it out on the phone. You cannot really see the actual video quality. Of course, it would make sense to actually record something and then plug it at the end of the video, but that's also the wrong format because I record in portrait. So therefore, you can kind of judge by this picture. I mean, I could angle it differently. The angle, though, is really nice. So if we take a look at this, and I also could potentially move it to the other screen. So therefore, um, now let's move it up a little bit. And as you can see, it crops in quite drastically, actually, which is kind of weird because for a webcam, you actually would want not necessarily this to be the case. I don't know if you can uh, change the angle but it seems to be just a plug and play solution. There is also this guide actually here and it says a lot, but I actually usually don't read these. So therefore I'm kind of confused what I should do and if I can actually adjust the angle. If not, then, I mean, this is kind of fine for maybe doing some basic mm -hmm. video calling, but apart from this, just look at my face and the brightness. I actually could try if I change my shirt and if the brightness problem will be fixed. Also, more and more identification processes, and as you can see, because of the white shirt, it now looks drastically better, I guess, because of the overexposure problem. I, th I think it actually looked quite fine. There's also not that much delay. And well, you could use it for some basic zoom calling. Maybe like this. It still is cropped in a lot, and if I actually move to the screen, now I'm pretty close, and it's just my face. Well, going forward, I now can see three options, I would say. The first option is that I just keep this camera and have it on top. I mean, I will keep this camera for the next time, probably anyway. Now, the second option is that I find a way to mount my Canon EOS M50 
onto here, which kind of would, at least in terms of space, be possible. The problem is that I only have an 18 to 135, which isn't wide enough for a position like this. So, I mean, apart from the exams where I actually have to have a webcam, um, I mean, this also, it is a nice addition to my overall setup because the webcam on my notebook actually doesn't really work because it's so low. Uh, I could not really position the, the notebook on top because this would just be ridiculous. So therefore I could potentially find a solution to mount my Canon ESM50 into the back here somehow, maybe with a tripod. I could just position a tripod here in the back and then have it angled towards me, but I would have to buy a different lens. So a different lens would cost me around probably 100 euros. And then I would also have three different lenses and I try to kind of stick to a minimal set of lenses when it comes to the cameras. So either I now buy uh, an actual, because now the problem is if I have my Canon EOS M50 as a permanent setup, then whenever I want to take pictures out, then I do have to uninstall the whole setup and my camera is not ready to go, which is kind of not very nice. Of course, it means also that I would have to potentially have two devices, one for webcam and this then comes in a bad quality potentially or I could buy something really good but this would then mean that I would have to invest a significant amount of money into the webcam. So either buy a better webcam and then use it or I use the Canon EOS M50 or well that's basically the two options I have. One thing to mention Regarding the sound, I, I'm not recording, I will now try to speak a little bit louder and then play back the audio file as well as the video file and then record it on the phone again.